Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. Today we've got some Data Dart Obsidians and these are the Parallel, not the Concave. We've done the Concave before, you can go back and check out that review if you like. Uh, yeah, these are looking quite nice. Similar grip to the other ones, obviously. But uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll go and have a look at these and do a review. Okay, we've got the Data Dart Obsidians here, 90% tungsten. Um, these particular ones we have are the 24 gram. Um, obviously, black box here with the obsidian like writing and almost like a dart point look there. Um, windows showing the darts in there. Data Dart logo showing that they're match weighted to 0 0.1 grams. Over on the back, we've got a little bit right up there of the manufacturing section. Um, obviously, Obsidian at the top and Data Dart logo. And um, we'll get the darts out, have a look. Here we go. Right. Uh, first things first, it comes in this like cardboard inlay section. It does save on sort of like. Um, packaging costs and everything you've got the flights here they did come a little bit loose but they're still there um obviously the three darts and the dart point holder um we'll get one out and have a closer look and here we go right got the standard sort of uh, black point there at the front adds a little bit of grip into the board we've got a medium length tapered conical nose before we go into this first so like ring grip section it's sort of like a very wide twin ring grip and um, with extra lateral grooves there it feels nice in the fingers adds a decent amount of grip having those extra lateral grooves um, the space in between the two rings is very very narrow so the actual rings themselves feel wider because they feel like it's one ring rather than two and then we go to the mid section where we've actually got the data dart etched into the flat section and then into this slightly different ring grip at the back. Again, it's got the lateral grooves so like going in line with the ones at the front. Um, the rings themselves are so like I'd say it's like a medium width really. Um, the grooves in between are about half the width of the ring itself. Um, but uh, I can feel more grip with the lateral cut than I can the actual radial section. Um, but it goes all the way to the back and then you've got like a steep sort of taper section before you go into these standard data dart stems there. Um, the grip itself feels quite nice, the coating's nice and it adds a little bit more grip because it's not a very smooth finish, it's got a slight texture to it, almost like a stone grip. Um, the actual grooves itself, like I said, they're quite close together, um, my finger slides against them. Um, quite smoothly other than with this lateral groove um, the measurements on these ones are length is 50.5 millimeters and the width is 6.2 millimeters so it's a nice thin dart you should get some close group in there but uh, what we'll do is we'll head on over to the board we'll have a throw see what we think okay we're over at the board we've got the uh, data dart obsidians these are the parallel not the concave ones um, yeah, so a decent fitting grip at the back, I suppose. And the grooves are a little bit close together for me. Um, ideally, I would have been throwing more from that front grip, but I am a rear gripper. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we'll have a couple of throws just so I can get used to them. And then we'll go into our practice routine. Little bit of a wobble. Yeah, only 24. Put it over to the right. Try and compensate for these long stems. Managed to compensate there with an 83. It is pulling slightly to the right, so I just need to move a little bit, I think. But uh, yeah. I think we'll be all right with that. We'll go into our 201 practice routine. Game on. Eighty-one. Steadiest start. Left the self to the Shanghai at one twenty. Oh, keep 
pulling it into that one. 80 scored, just tops left to get. And there we go, one dart. Seven darts in total, can't moan at that. Yeah, went nice and smooth, the darts fly okay. Definitely do better with sort of like smaller stems, but again, that's personal preference. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we'll go and have a summary. Okay, we had a throw of these, didn't do too bad. Seven darts, I think uh, that was relatively good. Uh, started off with, what, 81. Just missed the Shanghai finish, but uh, yeah, I think I've done all right. Grip was relatively nice. Um, obviously, my fingers weren't the greatest to fit into those grooves. Um, so I'm giving them a grip rating of 2.5. Um, obviously, that front grip would have been a lot nicer to have thrown from. But I, I was happy with how it went. The darts flew true, and it was really, really nice. Um, these darts are 90% tungsten. And they come in at £52.95, pence, which nowadays is about average, really, for, for the 90% tungsten darts. You've got extra milling in there, you've got the lateral grooves, you've got the extra coatings and what have you. So, it's a decent price. It's not like you're breaking the bank too much, but uh, it's not like you can pick them up and just throw them in the drawer and not expect to throw them anymore. Uh, these come in with 22, 24 and 26 grams, so there's a decent range for everyone, um, whether you're male or female or a lobber or a hard thrower, yeah, there's something there for everyone, so it's a decent sort of dart to go through. Um, I like them, um, I, I not the greatest dart for me, uh, not with the way I've been thrown lately, but uh, yeah, I'm more than happy with these. Um, if you agree with anything I've said or disagreed or you just want to leave a comment, head over to YouTube and leave a comment on there. Uh, make sure you tick subscribe and tick the bell so you get notifications of any sort of like reviews coming up in the future and the videos. Uh, head over to dartsplanet.tv and dartsreviews.tv. Plenty of stuff on there and always it's lots of information and we've got lots coming up in the future. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.